road we got a granite sign it is kind of a leftover from the previous administration people who set up this little subdivision you notice if you look around there's nobody in the subdivision that's because everything went belly up oh bad things happened to the people that were investing money and trying to make something fancy out of it but we still got the sign and so uh bobby and dixie's been up there keeping things nice for us and she said you need to get rid of these boxwoods she said those are plants that people put up when they don't really want to keep something nice because uh, they don't require much maintenance so i said well if you want to get rid of them you know go right ahead so she borrowed a tractor yanked them out of the ground and they're, they're sitting up there and uh i kind of hate to see them go to waste so I'm gonna try to plant this. Anyway, they pulled them out of the ground. They were gonna dry up and go to waste. Honey babe she said she wouldn't mind having two or three of them. So I put some in front of the house here. Uh, and I had one left over. And I wasn't sure where to put it because I got things organized pretty well around here. I don't really want more bushes to have to cut around but I got this spot right here that is kind of a mess and I thought well I could stick it right here and then instead of being quite so big of a mess it would kind of uh, put something here I can't quite cut the grass here because I got a property stob here and I got a water connection here and my mower won't go over this but that bush would sit right here and then I wouldn't need to mow it and it would look better than all this wild filled up grassy stuff so i thought well i just set it out here at least you know if we ever do want it we can dig it up later and put it somewhere else maybe it'll survive you know it might not survive uh and that thought crossed my mind too but i'd rather i'd rather give it a chance to survive than uh, just cold-heartedly set it around someplace where it doesn't have a chance to die so, i might have a water line over here that I have to think about but the uh this thing does the roots on this thing are all pretty close to the ground so I don't think they can bother anything like that. I'm kind of playing it by ear here. Uh, looks like I don't know what I'm doing. It's probably because I don't know what I'm doing. But, yeah, yeah. Maybe. The main thing I don't want to do is make any snake seeds mad or anything like that. I've seen a couple of black snakes in the neighborhood, but no uh, poisonous ones yet. So it seems to be okay with that. I found me a daylily growing in the wild too. Y'all know how much I love daylilies. I got a whole bunch of them up yonder. And down here the deer eat them, but since I found one growing out in the wild, I thought, well, maybe if they're not eating it, then maybe I can plant it and have it grow up without getting killed or dying off. Lavender! Yeah! Look at that lavender go. Yeah. Yeah. Even this bush, it looked like it was dead. It's starting to come out a little. Huh? Even that bush, it looked dead. It's starting to come out a little. Well, the other one isn't producing anything. But yeah, that's why I say leave them alone. You just never know. You just never know. What I was saying is I thought I'd set it here and give it a chance to grow. Squirt a little water on it from time to time. Uh, I thought about setting it up there at the uh, storage facility, but then you know, I don't, I'm not really up there a lot to keep an eye on it, to water it, you know, and I thought, well, if I put it here, at least I can squirt some water on it every now and again, give it a little bit of a fighting chance. I don't know. Let's see. But anyway, we are kind of dig down here enough to loosen up the dirt uh, 
We've got a little small swimming pool that we bought 10 feet, 30 inches deep. Just a almost not much more than a kiddie pool, but our neighbor's got one. She likes to lay in hers in hot days, you know, to cool off. And I've never had a pool. I've always heard bad things about them, you know, as far as a lot of maintenance to keep them up and a lot of expense. And any baby suggested it, and I said, well, you know, 10 foot pool, 30 inches deep, be a good way to see if we're any good at managing having a pool. So, I give it a try, it didn't cost much, a couple hundred bucks for the pool. So, uh, all I do is level a piece of ground back there, and I was thinking, well, if I get any leftover dirt from this here, and put it back there and use it. I'm gonna level a piece of ground right back here about where the uh, clothes hanger is at. So, so we'll see what happens here. A lot of times what I do is just dig down a little bit Loosen the dirt up, splash a little water on it, soften it up a little bit so that the new roots have something to grab a hold of instead of just plain old rock hard clay, you know. <clears throat> This is the day lily right here, and I'm gonna plant it right here in the back of that. Oh, the joy.